there's nothing wrong. It's just that I didn't really feel well last night, so we didn't want to stop over, you know. Besides, what's a super king bed without you in it? Oh, no, Nate, you don't have to do that. I just... Oh, damn, he's coming over. What now? Yes. Oh, I can't face him. I don't know what to say. Well, calm down for a start. He's just checking you're OK. So just, you know, smile and tell him you missed him. Hey. Hey. I missed you. Yeah. I missed you. Mm. Mm. I just wanted to pop in. Uh, check you all right. How was your trip? Yeah, great. We were tramping round stalls most of the day, weren't we? How was the hotel? Oh, yeah, it was lovely. You see Tracy? Yeah. Mm. Didn't really chat, though. <laughs> Robert managed to blag the bridal suite, Jammy Swine. He rang me, said he was going to be late. How was the food? Well, she's getting married in a couple of months, isn't she? She didn't eat. I didn't eat. Hey, look, I, I better go. I've got to meet him with Robert. Uh, what are you doing? Um, wedding stuff. OK, look, uh... Mm. You take it easy. Mm. Hey. I love you. I love you. So I've been thinking about it all night. It just comes down to a simple choice. Either I tell Nick or Tracy does. Well, could just be a wind-up. She might just be trying to make you sweat. Oh, really? Well, she's doing a good job. I didn't even go near the sauna. Mm, nor me. I had a treatment booked. OK, but if you're right, if I, I bluff it out, and that's a big gamble even by my standards. Look, if you slept with my fella and I found out about it, I'd wring your neck and I certainly wouldn't be waiting... what? Four weeks to do it. Mm. She's biding her time. Well, didn't she say there was another option? Yep. But I don't know what. Hmm. Well, she might just be softening you up before she starts demanding a load of cash. Oh, I don't care. I deserve what I get. I cheated on him. <sighs> she is loving every minute of this, isn't she? Shell, I can't take the risk of Nick hearing it from her. I don't know, maybe for just tell him exactly how it happened. Well, it'd be very sketchy on the detail, though. No, what I mean that it was uh, meaningless, pointless, awful, just one off with his chef. He's going to dump me. If you've come to grovel or buy yourself more time, you can forget that. I don't need more time. I know what I'm going to do. Really? I'm not being pushed around by you anymore, Tracy. I'm going to tell Nick everything. You don't think it's a good idea. I can tell. I didn't say that. Just let me talk to her. Look, she comes. Look, I'll talk to her and I'll phone you, OK? Hi, Carla. Hi, Gail. Uh, now, uh, I've just suggested something to Nick about the wedding, which we're all looking forward to very much. I'm sure you'll make my son very happy. You will. Oh, I want to. I'll try. And I don't want you to think I'm interfering. It's only a little thing, and I won't be offended if you don't like the sorry, idea. Gail, will this hit on? Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. No, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't thinking. I, I've got a lot on my mind. Yes, of, of course you have them. Um, I'll leave it to Nick to tell you. Sorry. Everything OK? It's no big deal what she wants. It's just I need to tell you something important. Rather, yeah, yeah, we'll do. Cheers, mate. OK, bye. Bye. Hey, everyone's raving about your panna cotta. Uh, yeah, every time I put it on, it sells out in about an hour. Uh, listen, uh, I just had a phone call from this dairy. They sound quite good. Do you want to come and look at the website? I thought I might put an order in. Yeah, OK. Hey, Carl. I'll just deal with this. Okay? No, I won't be long. Uh, so, uh, photo shoot went well by all accounts? Oh, yeah. Sounds very flash. Oh, well, they're full of ideas, aren't they? Like I was once, I remember. My kids designer dungarees. 
from a long way. Oh, no. That was fake then. It's all fake now. It's a PR to yourself. I think it's great what you're doing, you know, new blood, fresh ideas. It's been like me and Robert. He's really injected some energy into this place, you know. Uh, so what do, you, what do you want to talk about? Nick, could you just give us a hand for a second? Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, look. Hold that thought, yeah? Oh, it was. Nick, I've done something bad. Fine. Probably ball. I've not bought anything. Nick, this is serious. Okay. <laughs> Don't get upset. I mean, I'm still recovering. Look, I've got something to show you. Uh, do you remember what my mum was talking about earlier? Well, she gave me this. Mm. What is it? <laughs> Nice enough to wear for the wedding. Ah. My dad gave them to my mum before they were married. And she thought if you wore them, it would make you part of the family. All right. They're old, borrowed, blue. The hideous. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll tell her. You've chosen some other earrings. It's just that she doesn't really take an interest in this sort of stuff. She's always hated them when I've been here. Feels like you're the first one she accepts in a funny sort of way. Even though I just couldn't give her the time of day then. She was just trying to be nice to me. I think the earrings are her way of saying she accepts you that whatever doubt she had, she knows she made me so, so happy. So, come on. This will be confession. You were right. I've been flexing the plastic again. <laughs> I knew you'd bottle it. All right, Tracy, listen, you want to hear me grovel and beg? Well, here goes, because I can't tell him. I cannot do this to him because I love him, Tracy. I love him and I want to marry him. And I know you love Robert. Yeah, I do. So why would you want to go and ruin everything? Just come on, you said there was another way. Well, please. Do you know, the thought of you and Robert together, it makes me feel physically sick. Me too. I can't bear the idea that I'm going to see you every day. Well, we don't have to do it. We can try and avoid each other. <sighs> I'd rather you were in a different country. Planet, even. <sighs> to know that I am not going to bump into you anytime soon or ever, in fact. <laughs> what are you saying? Well, you need to move. You need to sell up and move away. Leave me and my boyfriend alone to get on with our lives. I don't think that's unreasonable. Unreasonable, Tracy. You know, I own a factory here. Nick owns his bistro. I'll have that and all. You what? We'll buy it. Robert already owns 20%, so I'm sure he'd make you a decent offer. Especially if you're pressurizing Nick to move away. You've really thought this through, haven't you? Persuade Nick to sell this place and leave town, or your relationship with him is over. 